Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here on my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my morning skincare routine. Now my skincare routine has sort of like a few levels. There's the everyday level, then there's the need that little bit of extra care level, and then there's the all out level where I use every single one of these products that I'm going to be talking about today. On an everyday basis, I probably would just go in with like two or three of these items and then go over the top with my makeup application. But what I'm gonna be sharing with you today is everything that I will generally use in my skincare routine if I have time, if I'm feeling like my skin needs a little bit of extra care. I do understand that this skin skincare routine that I will be showing you today is quite a pricey one, but that's just how I feel about my skincare. I can buy affordable drugstore makeup all day, every day, use it and be incredibly happy with its performance, but when it comes to skincare for me, I feel like investing a little bit more extra money in my skincare gives me a higher payoff. For me, how my skin looks is a whole lot more important than how my makeup looks because I feel like my makeup won't look good anyway if the skin underneath hasn't been taken care of. Before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy my videos, then be sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are live as Geek Eye. So yeah, if you want to see my morning skincare routine, then just keep on watching. Now obviously when I get up in the morning, it's generally to go to work, so before I do it, anything else, I brush my teeth and I wash my face. The soap I use to wash my face is the Dove Pure and Sensitive Skin Soap. Being a pure and sensitive skin soap, it is not a highly sensing soap, so it doesn't actually dry out my skin. Over the course of time, I have found that using this soap reduces discoloration, inflammation, and over oily activeness on certain areas of my face. I do have combination skin oily, dry, and uh, sensitive. <laughs> so all of the above, I find I am dry around my mouth and oily here in my forehead. So before I apply any skin, care at all on my skin I sort of reset everything and wash it all clean with the Dove sensitive soap after doing that I go in with my Jericho cosmetics skin toner what a toner does for me is after all the impurities have been removed from my face like sleeping overnight maybe a little bit of drool which is gross but you know what everyone does it <laughs> and just general morning stuff on my face I'll go in with the skin toner what a skin toner does for me is it will strip not strip in a bad way, but strip everything off my face. Leave my skin as a blank slate for everything that I'm going to be applying on top. I'm actually doing my skincare routine right now. So I thought, you know, it'd be good to film this video for you guys because actually a lot of people requested this. So I'm just taking some of that skin toner on a cotton pad. What I really love about the Jericho Cosmetics skin toner is that it doesn't sting or irritate my skin or my eyes. It's not overly drying as well. After skin toner, I always go in with my Kedma Cosmetics Active Serum. This is one that I do not skip. Now what this serum does for me, not only does it perform as a conductor, like when you apply it on your skin, every other product that you apply on top of this product is drawn deeper into your skin and you get a higher performance of all the other skincare that you put on top. So that's what the purpose of this active serum is. Not only that, I have found that using this underneath all my makeup applies everything really smoothly. It has a really smooth, silky sort of consistency. It's not greasy. It's not greasy, it's just a really smooth, clear formula. It has a very almost silicone type of feel, but a little bit more watery than that. It's not oily at all. So what I do is I just put it on my cheeks, forehead, nose, and chin, and I rub that into the skin. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a very blurring effect as well. It really helps to fill in those fine lines and pores. I do struggle with a fair bit of texture around my mouth, around my nose, and here on my forehead. So that's where I generally focus a lot of my skincare. So I really love this product because for me it has two purposes. It is really marketed only as an active serum, but for me it performs as like almost like a makeup primer as well. After the active serum, I always go in with my Jericho Cosmetics Eye and Neck Gel. Now Jericho Cosmetics has recently been rebranded into the brand Kedma Cosmetics. So if you see this gradually fade out on my channel and I start talking about Kedma Cosmetics, it is one and the same thing. It's just that Jericho has rebranded. So I go in now with my Eye and Neck Gel. It is nearly empty. I really need to buy a backup of this one. I don't actually have any backups, which is pretty sad because I probably really only have three uses left in this tub. I just go into that grab a little bit on my fingertips, two dabs under the eyes, and apply the rest on my neck. What this eye and neck gel does is reduce puffiness and darkness under the eyes. Not only that, it helps reduce wrinkles. 
So I'm just rubbing that in under the eyes. I really need extra help under there because I find when I don't use this product, the wrinkles and the dark circles under my eyes are much more prominent than usual. After I've pressed that in under my eyes, I generally go in with the le leftover residue on my fingers and apply the rest on my forehead because I have a few wrinkles here on my forehead as well. So I just wanna use up every single little bit of skincare that I have on my hands. After the eye and neck gel, now these are the three things that I would probably skip. After applying the eye and neck gel, now these are the three things that I mentioned before that I would probably skip if it's a normal skincare morning type of day when I'm feeling like my skin is okay, it doesn't need that little bit of extra care or glow for the day. But if I'm feeling a little bit extra dry, needs a bit of more TLC, if I'm feeling a little bit dehydrated, dull, or needs a bit of extra love, then I will go in with one of these three products. The Drunk Elephant C from a Day Serum gives me a little bit more extra luminosity throughout the day. Not luminosity in the way that it's an oily serum or gives me a glow. It's really more of like a concentrated vitamin C serum, which using over the course of time lightens and brightens the skin. I will not be applying this one today because well, for one, it's very expensive, so I don't use this very often except for the really, really, really bad skin days. But this one definitely gives me results as far as firming and brightening the skin. It also does have ascorbic acid and vitamin C is incredibly good for you. So Drunk Elephant is one that I would use in the morning as well. If my skin's feeling extra dry and needs a bit of extra luminosity as far as the glow goes, I might go in with the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This one, again, I don't use every single day, only when I'm having really, really dry skin days and if I'm having super bad skin days like especially around my mouth that's where I get the driest and around my nose I will go in with a couple drops of this virgin marula facial oil and massage that into the skin before I apply my makeup the third product is probably really more something I use in my night skincare routine this one is the L'Occitane Immortal Reset Serum I do have a full-on review of this product and I will leave that in the description box down below if you want to go check it out while it is marketed as more of an overnight serum it is actually light enough to use under my makeup and give me that just little bit of extra loving care on my skin. This one is the bomb. I'm not gonna go too in depth into this product right here right now because I already do have a review of this product on my channel. So if you wanna hear all my thoughts and the benefits of this product, then go watch that video. I will leave it linked in the description box down below. So those are the three things I will go in with if I need the extra care. Everything else is probably more of just a normal morning skincare routine. After all of that, I finish it all off with my Jericho Cosmetics Restoring Day Cream. I already do have a backup of this one. This one's nearly empty and it is in the new rebranded Kedma Cosmetics packaging. So this one really is basically just a moisturizer. It's to top everything off, seal everything in, and give myself a moisturized, smooth base for all the makeup that I will be applying on top of my face for the day. So I just massage that into the skin. For this step, you could go in with any moisturizer that you like. This is just the moisturizer that I use on a daily basis. I really love it. It smells beautiful, but not like overly fragrancy in a bad sort of way that it's like bad for your skin. It just smells like a spa sort of moisturizing cream. And that is generally the last step for my morning skincare routine. After the moisturizing step, I'll generally go in with my makeup face primer and then apply my makeup on top of that. And I have found that when I invest the time in my skincare routine every single morning, my makeup is set for the day. Most days, it'll apply great. It'll stay up until the end of my work shift. And I have peace of mind knowing that my skin has been taken care of for the day. So yeah, that's it for my morning skincare routine, you guys. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see my nightly skincare routine as well. It is a little bit different from this one. Almost similar, but a little bit different. So yeah, if you want to see my night skincare routine, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your morning skincare routine is. Do you feel like your skincare is more important than your makeup or vice versa or just as important as each other? Let's have that conversation down below, you guys. If you use any of these products or if you want to use any of these products, let me know if you have any questions about any of these products. If you want to see a review on any of these products, then definitely let me know and I will film that video for you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are life as geek eye. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm not using this. <laughs> my makeup won't look good because I feel like my makeup won't look good because I feel like my makeup won't look good
it is an well it is well it is marketed well it is marketed as more of an overnight because I do have a review of this product because I already do have a review of this product linked so if you want to hear every, all 